Paris, can you please sing us the podcast intro this week, month? I sure can. Uh, podcast, here it is. We are here right now. We are joined by Ethan, a head engineer, and Paul Johnson's nowhere to be seen. Da 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 da. Join us now. Oh, that was something. Uh, hello, welcome to the Chaotic Voyage. <laughs> no uh, it's hard, okay. <laughs> I am Captain Cameron, uh, the usual captain. Yeah, I already fucked it up. Alright, uh, that's... The usual Cameron? Yeah. <laughs> that's First Mate Paris, who's here this week hello. on time. I'm here. <laughs> yeah. And, Sorry uh, about that. Yeah, yeah, Ethan, the engineer. Howdy. Yeah. Wow, that was a bit of a delay. <laughs> uh, just for anyone watching, uh, Ethan is just slow. Ethan's got a bit of lag. Yeah, uh, in his brain. <laughs> <laughs> it's a medical condition called lag brain. Well, we weren't telling <laughs> anyone serious. about this. Cam. I'm just telling you once the viewers, it's fine. <laughs> how, how many viewers? Sorry. We let him once. park in the handicapped spot here at work. Mm. Yes. Yeah, so oh, only one. Ah. Yeah, it's, it's all good. As you can see, uh, hopefully, GTA is playing in the background. And this is because mm -hmm. this, uh, we just wanted it in the background because we wanted to continue doing heist missions and stuff. Unless you're blind, then you can't see in the back what's happening in the background. <laughs> yeah, that's, that's true. Unless you're one of those blind girls that Jesse was talking about. Yeah. People like the valentine's day episode probably like listening to this and like oh thank god Fuck i don't I'm have to blind. watch anything <laughs> now they're like oh great they're gonna talk about watching something i was thinking the opposite that that they'd be glad that they have something to watch now instead of just looking at the background yeah like a still background but then they can be actually useful useful in their lives if they have... oh well, we're not gonna are you calling our uh, listeners useless? I think he is. Yeah. Because yep. I'm one of them. You know what I just realized as well? We can call them viewers now as well. Oh. Because they're actually viewing something. Yeah, look at us. They're listeners and viewers both. Oh, no, now they're going to know what our game attacks are. Uh-oh. Oh, you have to censor uh -oh. it. Uh-oh. <laughs> Get ready for an influx of ads. Yeah. Oh no, what, what's going to happen? Jesse's going to add me on PS4. Oh. oh no. Oh great, we're going to have to... No, he doesn't have a PS4, oh, so we're good. Um, this, oh yeah, he's got a PS4. Episode, I already have him added anyway. That was the joke. This episode is <laughs> proudly sponsored by Endless.LTD on Instagram. Go follow. Is that you yep, or something? Go follow. It's a great car Instagram account. Um, yeah. You're allowed to give shoutouts, but for... Uh, What's it called? Purposes we can't say that we're sponsors. No. Oh. So, uh, yeah. Shout out to Ethan's uh, card photos or something. Yep. Yeah. Ethan's card. So, in honor of playing GTA, I thought I'd start this out by asking us all a question, which is if you could live in, or if you had to live in one video game for the rest of your life, what would it be, and why? Um, uh, if we die in that video game, do we die and die, or is it like, do we actually get respawns and stuff? It depends on the canon of the game. Like, so if it was like GTA, could you just respawn? Uh, in GTA, I'm gonna say no. No. Because I'm thinking like, you know, in when you play main main campaign and you die, you you get reverted back. Yeah. I'm going to say games like that is happening because it's pretending you didn't die rather than you respawn. Oh, yeah. Oh, wow. You're going to see how terrible I'm at driving. Great. Um, Could it maybe be like VR? How we are in this new universe of our choosing and then whenever we're done, we can just kind of take off the helmet and then we're back uh, you, in reality. You live in... Oh, there goes gravity. You live in the, the reality. Um, hmm. I'd probably... So I can't just click my fingers and escape whenever mm, I want? No. 
So choose wisely. Yeah, that changes Maybe things. Maybe Minecraft. I was thinking Minecraft as well, like, actually. Wow. It's, an, it's a kind of like a nice... You can survive. Because, mm. like, GTA would be good. But there's creepers. heaps of things to do. What about creepers? But there's always that fucking kid on the hover bike who comes down and mows out down your family. <laughs> That's what I was thinking. Like... Yeah. Uh, yeah, so I was like, GTA would be terrible to live in because you're not guaranteed to be the protagonist. So I'd definitely be someone who just gets, like, mugged or run over by some guy who crashes into my armor or something and then yeah. that's the end of mm. me well I mean with some exceptions GTA 5 is pretty similar to real life I mean like oh, yeah. it's modelled after real life after a real place LA obviously mm. it's, yeah but obviously the only difference is like flying bikes and cars and you know these heists that are just like really outlandish mm. I think um, even then I think oh, I don't know where we live we don't get it's not that violent <laughs> not that action packed yeah <laughs> there's no gun store you can just walk down the street and mm. buy a rocket launcher from so I mean that's the other in thing in terms you, of can you choose you which update you that are world. what do you mean like could I be like when GTA first came out and like no one had uh, anything let's not no. forget that GTA is named after like a felony yeah <laughs> Grand Theft Auto <laughs> I think we can all agree that GTA would be it's pretty bad side. one of the worst to live in like I know you're probably th thinking uh oh it's really cool because uh when I play GTA I get to steal people's cars and stuff so much to do so much to but, see Chances are, you're going to be one of the people who just gets, um, yeah, mugged or gunned down, Killed. run over, <laughs> like, by some, I... by some kid. Like, imagine knowing that... <laughs> by some 12 year Yeah. <laughs> if you... I guess, yeah, if you choose to live in the world of GTA Online, chances are you're going to get killed by some 12-year-old who thinks it's funny, and he's like, hey, I killed someone. It starts teabagging you or something yeah, afterwards. And that's, that's the end of you. <laughs> You're like, your wife and kids... <laughs> That's your life. Your wife and kids all <laughs> cried. They're like, oh, Ethan died because some guy on a hover bike ran him down. Uh, they'd never say died. They'd say Ethan got wasted. <laughs> <laughs> That's, that is true. Uh, uh, I think I've got a good answer for it. Um, Before we do... But I, I, I'm not sure. I just want to... Go on. Like, I know how I said the whole respawn thing works. So maybe GTA Online you can respawn? Because I was thinking GTA, like, uh, main campaign sort of stuff where when you die, you have to reload the mission. I guess it's sort of the same for missions. In I guess life is one big mission. Yeah. Get a, get a wife, get kids, get a house. Or, like, you, just, you could <laughs> just, like, choose, well, like, a safe option and go mission accomplished. get, like... Something like um, Animal Crossing, but you can just yeah. do like where it's just like a simple yeah. life. Yeah. Like nothing's bad. Yeah. You know. I was trying to think of a simple game like that, just like a nice, calm game. Um, I couldn't really think of anything, but the the answer I came up with was Second Life. I've heard of it. Don't think I played it. No. Uh, I, I've only really heard of it, I haven't played it, but I know it's kind of uh, not similar to GTA, similar to GTA in the sense that it's just like another version of reality. Yeah. But in, in this one, you can do all the things you can do in real life pretty much, um, but you can like fly around, and it's, it's pretty much the aspect of flying that, that interests me, but yeah, I, I think it's like... It's like that. I don't think there's much violence in it, though. Mm. So the chances of being killed gruesomely are pretty low. I think... And I've always wanted to f know what it's like to fly. So I'll pick that. Uh, yeah, because like, when I thought of Minecraft, I think it depends on like if you're playing hard mode or not. Because... 
What about all the mobs, all the creepers and stuff? Yeah, which is where I'm confused about the whole respawn rule that I myself was setting. Because in Minecraft, if you play the standard Minecraft, when you die, you respawn. You keep all the stuff you've done. Your house is there unless it got blown up. Stuff like that. Yeah. So would you allow that sort of respawning? Where, um, I don't know, it's your rules. Alright, I'm going to say yes then. Because it's a type where the world continues on, but you just come back to life, rather than the world resetting to where you were before you died. If that makes sense. Just like in real life. I yeah. feel like I feel like there should be no respawn. <laughs> but I think some just like life. <laughs> All right, no respawns. Mm. Yeah, if it that kind of changes things, I think. No respawns. Um, and you're in the Minecraft world. You'd just be so terrified to go like exploring caves or anything. What if there's like. A cave spider spawner. Oh, oh no. You're just fucked. Oh, imagine, like, the way you die is just swarmed by giant, like, spiders. Oh, God. I would hate that. I hate uh, spiders. Yeah. I think... Yeah, again, it's one of those things that if you could change the game mode, it might be different. Like, if I could live in creative mode Minecraft, I'd be set for life. Oh, yeah. I could just, like, yeah, build my own house. I'd enjoy that. Just can't die. You're pretty much a god. Yeah, but then again, would you allow that? No. I mean, like, no sandbox games. Yeah, probably games. not. <laughs> probably no not. No sandbox games. Hmm. Hmm. I would go with something maybe like Animal Crossing. I'm just running out of games because games these days are just... <laughs> I'm going to sound like a boomer. I was, I was going to say, games these days are just, they're all too violent. <laughs> it's all based on violence. Oh, poor Paris. <laughs> also, a good one could be Skyrim. Uh, um, <laughs> I don't think so. A no. world where, like, know, there's dragons that. flying around and bandits. Yeah. Very little laws. Yeah, the dragons. The dragons kind of <laughs> <laughs> change things. Yeah, I'd like to nice remind the dragons. <laughs> I'm gonna say no to the dragons. Can't wait for all the all the twelve year old uh, viewers to be like, ah, oh, Fortnite, and then just <laughs> die immediately. Mm. Yeah, all of our twelve year old viewers, because yeah. we know a lot of twelve year olds That's... that we can force to listen to this. The pinnacle of um, humans, uh, uh, I am not selection. forcing any twelve year olds to do anything. Yeah, I'm saying, saying we're not doing that. <laughs> and I don't. I definitely don't do that. <laughs> Cameron doesn't speak for me. <laughs> I speak for myself. Oh, good for you. Oh, I'm proud of you. Fucking um, the random in our lobby is thanks. tearing me up in his fucking shit box. I hate him. I just wish he'd go to work already. Yeah. I wish he'd Wherever he come works. on a subpar podcast with us. Yeah. Here's a here's a question. If you could be the CEO of any company, which company would you Amazon? Spearhead. <laughs> Amazon? Yeah, Amazon. Like but one, you're like I'd the richest. give people good wages. Um, mm. Like you're the richest. And like Amazon's so good. Like you get to... That's, you... Yeah, that's true. Everyone would just choose the richest mm. one, probably. That's a bad question. Okay, yeah, okay. A, a better a question. question. <laughs> what small yeah, company would you run? Oh, I don't know many small companies. What? Like what's classified as like a small okay company? like if you were gonna start a business give us an example what would you start? That's a better question. Oh, okay, uh, not a restaurant because they're a so terrible just, investment. Yeah, we're just giving you our best business ideas, pretty much. Yeah, Celtic Voyage comes up with a business uh, for you because we're all great uh, economists, econ and. Economics, economists, artists. Are you are you blind, Cam? Are Am you... I blind? <laughs> like like <Fucked>. drunk? <laughs> no, blind are drunk. You? Partly, because you just said I'm blind when I couldn't talk. <laughs> <laughs> you know, you know the saying. You're like, oh, you're blind, mate. Uh, yeah. I don't think you used it right though. But 
You know, when you're like no. hella drunk, you're like, fine. I, mean, I could tell you guys my business ideas, but I think you've heard them all already. Probably sick of I don't remember any of them. <laughs> you do. Um, okay, oh, so what, what's right. more business? Yeah. Do you remember my online seafood delivery store? I mean, service. What's it yeah, called? I sure do. Prawn Hub. Uh, of course. <laughs> <laughs> or Schnitties in the City. Oh, Schnitties in the City. I forgot about that. That's just a restaurant, so that's kind oh, of yeah, a bad that's investment. That's definitely bad. Um, I have another one, which is kind of a restaurant, but it's also... Um, the, the random in our lobby would like this idea because he... I think he likes gambling. If I had to Says take a you. guess... Oh, we'll have we'll only spend like a <laughs> like a tad like only like two grand. Mm. Two grand. That's chump change. Yeah, that's that's it's how much that's yeah. how much revenue we're gonna make of half of this video. Yeah. Oh, sure. I just realized that a lot of my um business ideas are food related. Like I have a couple I was gonna mention, but they're both restaurants, but one one's kind of like a or something else I guess I'll say it anyway so it's like a, a steakhouse where you can also gamble there too right. like they have roulette tables and stuff like it's that something to do with steaks right the steaks are high not, high not, steaks well okay let me just finish right <laughs> yeah so we have a steakhouse slash casino mm -hmm. and we put it you bet only on the in top stakes. floor of a high rise, on the top floor of a skyscraper, right? Yeah, right, yeah. And we call it high stakes. So what I said. Yeah, but, <laughs> but you, you ruined you... it. Okay, I've got another one. Okay, <laughs> so it's a stake and casino place, but it's at the lowest basement of a building. It's called low stakes. Low stakes. Nah, that's a terrible <laughs> idea. You see, no one wants to go low for stakes. What if you're <laughs> all dark and... I wouldn't go to a steak like place a, that was high stakes. Like, I'd probably do like. But it'd have a nice view. Do you have like yeah, a, but you might like die. You you know, like um, Iron Not Man if, where he sits like in the donut. Like if you jump out of the top story. Do you have like a yeah. huge stake on top of it? The building is just a giant stake. <laughs> yeah, okay. It, <laughs> it's you know like um in Vegas. It's architecture. I think it's in Vegas where there's like that pyramid building. Yeah, I mean, there's pyramids in. Oh yeah, Asia, the pyramid, you know. the Vegas pyramid. Yep. Yeah. yeah I well, I don't know. My knowledge of Vegas comes from a uh, GTA San Andreas. <laughs> so, but anyway, so the top floor is like a flat top on top of the triangle, the pyramid. So like it's constantly wobbling back and forward. So there's high stakes uh, involved because you might fall to your death. Uh. Anyway. Let's get past high stakes because I've got another um, more. restaurant idea. But I, I thought this one's actually pretty good and very possible. Go on. Um, but obviously it's a bad investment because it's still a restaurant. <laughs> anyway, um, have you? Has this ever happened to you? You've been out on the town. You've just uh, finished having a meal with some friends at a restaurant, and you're walking around and you're like. Man, I'm I'm still hungry, but only a little bit. Like I could just I could go for like a little bit of extra food just to completely Eat fill joy. me up. Uh, yeah. yeah, one second. Um, so if that's ever happened to you, you can go to my new restaurant uh, called Pecking Order, where if you're a little bit peckish, you come in and you order some food. And what it is is we don't do whole meals. We do just like white bread, little you know, like little. <laughs> Yeah, sure, bread. There'd be bread there. Not just bread, though. Well, that's how they it's get like you. proper meals, but the portions are smaller, the plates are smaller, you pay a smaller price, and you only go there if you're peckish. You don't go there for like a full meal. It's kind of like an after-dinner place. Uh, can you just have like peck and order, a sign Because you're door. peckish and you're ordering food. It's like you, you have to be this uh, hungry to enter this establishment. <laughs> it's, it's like... Well, it'd be like... I'd say on the menus it'd be like, by the way, we don't do full meals. This this place is the whole gimmick of this place is you're peckish after you've had food, so you come here for a bit, a little bit more. And the way I'm thinking of it, it's like kind of cheap. Like the meals are cheap. 
Yeah, so, well, it's it's less expensive because yeah. the uh, the mills are smaller, so the price so, like, is a bit smaller. Too. When you have Uber, it's like the delivery cost is like two times the amount of the meal. <laughs> well, um, I can just picture the sign right now. It's like a little neon sign with like a bird, like a woodpecker on it or something like that. It's like a pecking order. Come in. Small meals, small prices, big good times. <laughs> <laughs> big uh, oh. big happy <laughs> I a car so Ethan tells me he hasn't seen your new car that you won oh. at least like the style that it's in I've heard of it All right. but he doesn't know what the all the uh, specifics he hasn't seen what's in the front what's in the back yeah I'll I no he knows what's in the back I, I've heard what's in the oh, back oh he does oh <laughs> 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 I wanted to hear your reaction and hopefully it was better than that one <laughs> yeah oh. which was uh, very real it was a real reaction but it just uh, didn't come out quite right, right that's the sort of reaction you hear when you're like <laughs> that's someone my proposes life. to you that's... but you're not ready to marry them oh, oh. or yeah. When someone yeah, says, no. I love you, and you're not ready to say it back. Not that I've ever been there, but just imagine that <laughs> that's happening. So to it's me. the girls that you've been with then? Sure. <laughs> and one of them's like, uh, I love you, and I'm not ready to say it back. I'm like, oh, <laughs> that's neat. That's real. Thank you. That's real nice. <laughs> <laughs> that's a really nice thing to say. That's, wow, right. thank you. Good night. <laughs> <laughs> I shall uh, sleep on this. <laughs> Does anyone else have any business ideas? Like, I think pecking order actually could. I'm not going to say it could happen because I, like I don't have the money yeah. for it. I, um, but I think it's a good I, idea because I, I think we've all been in I, that situation where it's think, like just oh, I just want something small. I think that's what McDonald's is for. Not gonna lie. Mm, I was gonna say that. Look, like, but. <sighs> But this is good gourmet food. It's just it's a bit smaller. Yeah, but the problem is when you're drunk at that hour, you're not looking but for... But, no, you're not necessarily drunk. He said after clubbing. This isn't for drunk... I didn't say after clubbing. You said after, I said, like, a night, having yeah. sex with a yeah. random person in a bar I didn't room. say any of that. I'd, what, I'm tr what I was trying to say is that you've got out to town because you know we'll probably have it in town because uh, you know lots of foot traffic mm. um, and you've had dinner with like friends or whatever and then I like you leave I know you don't get dessert for some reason because I feel like everyone when you go out um, with friends everyone's like kind of too scared to get dessert but everyone wants dessert yeah it's like you know everyone asks around the tables anyone want any dessert and then people are like too polite to be like fuck yeah let's get some ice cream mm -hmm. everyone's just like oh, no well, because if, if you want to and then the other person's like mm, no, it's because we're yeah, adults no. adults don't eat dessert that's a lie but <laughs> anyway. we go out we eat our bland food and we don't enjoy life that's our but responsibility as an adult but have you ever been in that position where people are asking about dessert and you really want to say yes because you're still a bit hungry but you say no because you're an adult or whatever and no one else is saying yes you don't want to be the only person at the table eating <laughs> ice cream yeah or cake or whatever yeah like and you don't want to yeah. like hold people up like everyone else is there just... yeah everyone wants to leave you're just eating cake <laughs> yeah they're waiting for you this is this restaurant is for those people so you leave uh, um, the restaurant after having dinner without having any dessert. Yeah. And you're like, man, I could just go for a little something extra, just like just something, just a little bit. Yeah. That that's why. You, that's why pecking order exists. You go to pecking order. Yeah. Um, you get a small meal to fill you up the rest of the way. Yeah. Hmm. That's what it's for. I get that. Yeah. For the for the still hungry post meal people. It's hard to come up with uh, business ideas that aren't like food related I find yeah because yeah. I mean like just coming up with like a product or something that improves your life or something yeah everything's been invented already also like half the things it's just like 
like there's a reason why I'm not a, an entrepreneur or a business <laughs> starter. I'm just, that's just not the type of person I am. Um, not ready mm. for those people. All right, here's a question, but um, I don't know how well it would go. It's kind of, it's kind of a boring question, but I, I was asked it the other night, but so I'm going to ask it to you guys. You're right. It'll fit right in. <laughs> what was I thinking? <laughs> um, if you guys could live anywhere in the world, where would it be? You've probably already been asked this question before at some point in your life. Um. Oh. Uh. Yeah. Definitely. Um. I really like. I've, I've heard of that city in Australia. Um. One of them. Definitely like. I think. Uh, I think it's called. Adelaide or something. Um, yeah. Definitely there. It's got know. really nice kind of. I've heard that place is a shithole. Oh, uh, I don't know it. I, I've done my research into it because that's where I considered moving. <laughs> um, and it's like that nice happy medium between because I think Australia is a nice country. It's like that happy medium between like the busyness of Sydney, but like also a quiet, nice place to raise your family. Yeah. So I, I I'd... think. I think that that would be a, a, a semi yeah. boring answer. Okay, you just want something calm and relaxing. It's a place you can chill out and yeah, spend spend some quality time with friends and family. Mm. Yeah, uh, that's a, that's a very uh, mature answer. I applaud you geez, for that. Big ears. I, I don't know where I've heard <laughs> what. Name you you think I have big ears? Yeah. Massive. I'm, I'm very insecure about my ears. You should be. Okay. So if, it, if you're joking right now, you better tell me. Oh. What do you say? Okay. All right. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> That's it. <laughs> this thing handles like a fucking slug. A slug on wheels. A wheel slug. If you could either be. Oh, yeah, so have I. A slug on wheels. <laughs> a slug on wheels or a, or a wheel on slugs. On wheels. <laughs> Which would you be? <laughs> a wheel on slugs. <laughs> Am I the slug in this no. scenario? Because I don't want any no, you're wheels the wheel. on me. If I'm you're the wheel or the slug. Uh, I would definitely prefer to be the, the slug on wheels. Wait, do I get to control where the slug goes? <laughs> or is someone else the wheels and they get to choose where I go? You're just a slug on wheels. Okay. It's like well, if you have rollerblades or something. Definitely a slug on wheels. I mean, this wasn't very hard to get to. Why, why would, well, we're not done yet. Why would you? Why would anyone yeah, choose no. a slug, a wheel on a slug? If a you think slug. I put like any thought into that question, you should probably question your life. Oh, yeah, I do anyway. <laughs> well, <laughs> good start. All right, next question. Um, oh wait, you guys won't answer that. <laughs> Why not? <laughs> it was. Who's to say we wouldn't? Yeah, ask us, Uh It was gonna be, um, if you could spend like a hundred thousand dollars on a car, would you buy a car for a hundred thousand oh, dollars, or yeah. would you buy a car for a thousand dollars? Well, not like a thousand, but like ten thousand. Yeah, I know. I, I. That's why I said <laughs> you. You're, yeah, we're the wrong people. Yeah, that's that's <laughs> why I stopped. Just but if general, you're interested so. in cars, please go over to endless.ltd oh and follow on Instagram. But yeah, so I was thinking of other video games to be in, right? Yep. Uh, Guitar Hero. <laughs> no, that would be terrible. Why? You just play guitar. <laughs> no! Do you That's know how right. bored of guitar you'll get? Yeah, but you don't die. You'd get bored of anything if you're in a game like about a specific thing. I think... Right? If you were in Animal Crossing, you'd get bored of animals, or you get bored of crossings. <laughs> Spoken like someone who's played Animal Crossing. Wait. I don't know what you're doing. It. <laughs> Do you cross animals? Like... Yeah. Game like Job Simulator. You just betray them? <laughs> or like, like, a, like a simulator, like a, like a life simulator of some sort? Flight simulator? You know? Let's play Cameron's Life Simulator. It's just me in a simulated world of my life. Let's just say, what fictional world would you want? Actually, we have asked this question before. Oh, yeah. 
Yeah, yeah. with fictional world, because I said it's, Full Metal Alchemist. It's so hard to answer, because, like, so many of them are just filled with danger. Yeah. And obviously you want to, like, live for as long as you could in this world, and, like, experience it for as long as you could. Survive. So, I don't know. Or just ride and die, my friend. I think Avengers, the uh, Marvel world would suck to live in. Yeah. It's like everyone's flying around being superheroes and you're probably just going to be a victim. Somebody just dies. Yeah. <laughs> the reason I chose Full Metal Alchemist University yeah. is because the magic in that world is based on the world, not the actual people. Uh, okay, so, you, so anyone. You just have to study. And I, that's, I believe that's how it works from what yeah. I know. That's good. Fair enough. Like anyone can become an alchemist. Yeah. I believe. If you study hard, this is play when, by the rules. Yeah. Although, I guess you could also do that in the Marvel Universe. You can learn magic, but it's probably uh, harder. You could just learn how to fight. Like, you could just learn martial arts or something, too. Yeah, in Marvel Universe, you could learn martial arts and be able to heal yourself and all the magic stuff anywhere. It'd be interesting to see how pe- entertained people are in this. Oh, <laughs> I don't think yeah. there will be. Mm. Probably should have chosen some more cinematic missions. Yeah, or like races where it's like you kind of like laugh at people. Oh yeah, it'd be good to do a, a race um, podcast. Well, where we talk about how great races are. Do you want to, do you want me to tell you what my favorite race is? <laughs> Sure, Kevin. What's your favorite racist? The... Why? Wait. <laughs> That's not right. What? <laughs> That's... Uh, <laughs> my favorite racist would be your GTA character. <laughs> That's not a race. Racist. <laughs> oh, I was saying racist. Oh. But maybe next time we um, do a GTA race whilst talking about... GTA or life. Yeah, uh, if you made it this far somehow. Congratulations, you have a personality of a loaf of bread. <laughs> yeah, thanks for uh, searching all up your words. If you've made it this far, I don't know why you would uh, put yourself through that much suffering. Maybe you feel like you need to be punished for something. <laughs> I really, but, um, I really suggest seeing a it. psychiatrist. Yeah, do you like pain? Do you get off on it? Because this podcast might be for you. If somehow you survive this, please let us know uh, in the <laughs> future what games we should play or if we should never do this format again. And how we can <laughs> uh, how <laughs> we should just improve. We're going to ask the question. Just... If, wait, what was it? You get $10,000, but you're stuck with having this on your car. All right, we'll ask Ethan. We'll get his reaction. Ethan. Yeah. You get $10,000, but your car looks like this. Do I have to keep it like that at all times? <laughs> don't, don't, don't. Yeah. Uh, uh, no. no. <laughs> Why not? No. As a car enthusiast? Wait, um, you mean you don't like this? No, I don't. Um... For some reason, I feel like the the random in our lobby. Uh, I reckon he would really enjoy it, and he would. Take oh, he does. <laughs> he would He's take one that. Who said to get this? Actually. Take that money in a fucking heartbeat. Well, Paris and I have won these in the uh, uh, lottery. I oh, feel now the like if I things. had that paint job on my car, oh. I would get uh, abused <laughs> and bullied. Yeah, it even more than you already do. And, uh, I've already experienced enough of that during school. <laughs> <laughs> well, <laughs> is that land I see in the distance? I really fucking <laughs> hope so. <laughs> Goodbye. I think uh, it might be. <laughs> Bye. <laughs>